Hello, this is Mark reporting back on the Movie Project's current findings regarding the use of collaborative tools. We are able to report today on our trial use of Google+, including Hangouts, Google Drive, including Docs, and Google Groups, and would note the advantages and disadvantages of each of these tools. Firstly, our trial utilised three collaborative tools from the same developer, Google. Originally, we intended to use Skype for video conferencing until it was found that we, what we wanted to do would require at least one of us to hold a premium account, which nobody does. Video conferencing in the end was still possible through another tool which had already been chosen, the Google Hangouts facility of Google+. Remember, the Milk was also tried for a short time, but it was found the site had little to offer, particularly as Google Drive was already being used to collaborate and Drive makes it easy to add comments to documents which can then be hidden when a task is completed. For a short time Dropbox was also considered but Google Drive also includes the same functionality so there was no need to move further in trialing Dropbox. Moving on to the group's choice to collaborate with Google Plus Docs and Groups there are some key advantages which are readily apparent. Firstly, using tools from a single developer make interoperability a possibility. For example, Google+, Plus, which incorporates Google Hangouts, was used to publish links to the Google Docs documents which were created, and, ha and Hangouts, which were both textual and video, could be organised easily through the asynchronous feed in Google+. Plus. Google Groups was not very useful in the small trial group, but in a larger organisation would be more useful as a bulletin board, which was not needed in the trial because of the small number of users and the ease of using synchronous communication instead. For a national rollout to the 25 branches of the service, thought would have to be given to how the tools would scale up. For Google+, which was used as a notice board, this would be effective. Users could create different circles, including the people they collaborate with for different reasons. So for example, a branch manager could have a circle for subordinates, another for branch managers, and another for technical support. Posts relevant to each type of collaboration could then be posted to the relevant circle. In the trial, we used Google Plus to post links to new documents on Drive and to highlight points for consideration which we wanted to ensure were not lost in Hangout discussions. The use of Hangouts allows synchronous communication through video conferencing, which is limited to 10 participants, or through text. This should scale well as conversations can be made on the fly with the people required, including inviting people to an existing conversation, and participant lists are automatically saved for later use and can be named for easy finding. Hangouts also do not require all participants to be present and those who are absent can read the transcript of textual hangouts when they next log in. Text hangouts can be archived as needed, which removes them from the active list but still allows them to be found and reopened as needed. In the trial, hangouts were arguably the most important collaborative tool, enabling us to communicate with each other synchronously, which we did twice per week, as the main way of determining what needed to be done and to organise basically everything. Google Drive, or Docs, similarly scales well. Documents can be edited by up to 50 people at the same time and can be privately shared with up to 200 email addresses, or more if an email list is used instead of individual addresses. Sharing rules are created on a per file basis, but folders can also be used to simplify the process. Access can be set on a per user basis regarding being able to edit, comment upon, or simply view each document which is a very powerful tool in large organisations. For example, a safety regulations document could be created, shared with all staff as view only, but which occupational health and safety officers can comment on and perhaps only branch managers can edit. In our trial, Google Drive is essential. The action plan and the report were both born on Drive and edited by all group members as needed. The only point at which Drive was not used for the document creation was in ensuring that the formatting was as required, at the very end of the process when it was exported to Word and a quick formatting fix was conducted before uploading the final Word file. This leads me into the disadvantages of the collaborative tools investigated. Drive, or Docs, is American, so it has limitations such as not being easily able to change the page setup of documents from Imperial to Metric. There are also other relevant issues, such as not being able to put page numbers in a table of contents and requiring a reliable internet connection to access your files. 
especially if Drive is used to store personal files instead of the local computer. A clear disadvantage of deploying Google Plus as a recommended tool is that it is a social networking site and as such can easily lead to lost productivity. Users are unlikely to only use the tool for their work with the organisation and even if they only follow co-workers it would be far too easy for them to become distracted by the site and lose time they should be using to work. Similarly, Hangouts are a powerful collaborative tool but could easily be used by workers to just chat to each other via either video or text. Google Groups were barely used in the trial because the other tools worked so well and met our needs. In a wider deployment where communication overhead becomes an issue, Groups may be a more important collaborative tool, especially as the bulletin board nature allows it to be used as a type of FAQ or subject organisation tool. Generally, the tools examined in our trial were exceptional at meeting the group's needs. The combination of Google Plus Hangouts and Google Drive Docs enabled both synchronous and asynchronous communication and a central repository of work which could be edited simultaneously by multiple users. We recommend that these tools be rolled out across the organisation for those employees who need to communicate between branches. Thank you.